Hello, welcome to the beginning of my baseboard video. So, as you can see, I've laid out the top just to get an idea of where it's beginning. I've only bought enough wood to do this bit for now. I do need to buy some more wood. Um, but I'm going to get started on this and talk you through what I'm planning on doing. So, I've taken a look around. There's so many different ways of doing baseboards. Um, but, starting with the material and how I've chosen to do it. Um, there's obviously quite a few YouTubers out there and well, I'll try my best to learn from sort of their mistakes in the early years uh, and that's what, it's, that's what it's all about and that's why people make these videos. Um, so I've gone and bit the bullet and spent a bit more money on getting plywood. Several reasons, it's less likely to warp, the better material, uh, stronger and it's much more reliable. Um, so in the long run, hoping it will pay off. Top boards are uh, 9mm ply. I can't remember what type of ply it is. I think it's a general purpose ply. Um, and it's 9mm thick. And that is 4 foot by 2 foot. And these are all 4 by 2 foot. So I've got 12 foot across the back. And coming down 4 foot here and 2 foot there. I'd probably... As you can see, as I mentioned in my last video, about how I'm going to be coming out this beam here. I don't see the point in going much wider than that, because when you come up vertically, you're going to hit about here anyway. And if you go there, you start losing the height, so there's not much point in coming out any further, because it's not going to use it as it comes across here. And then we'll go behind and through and just ignore that hardboard and then the same on that side it's not much point coming out much further than that plus it gives me a bit of access over there to get in behind same here it's, it's going to be tight but i've got a bit of access to get in there if i need to track cleaning maintenance derailments anything so i could push it right the way out but i do I do like the fact of being able to get behind, it makes it easier for wiring, storage, whatever. Yeah, it's only two foot wide, I could probably lean over, but, you know, it's less material as well. And I don't want this to be a whole loft layout, that's why I'm only using half of it. Still needs to be used as a loft. Um, and it's for my first railway, I don't want to go overboard. It gives me room to expand it in the future. So that's why I'm doing that. In terms of the actual construction of the, the uh, baseboard. I've got some thick chunky 2x4s over there which are probably going to use for legs or at least additional support but I'm probably going to use those for the legs. Um, maybe a bit overkill but is what it is. And then I've taken inspiration from Everard Junction's most very recent baseboard video. Um, I think he's also done 2x4 as well but it's got some other 12mm ply and then these are two foot wide and they're 150 mil uh, deep and then I've got some short pieces which are one foot by two uh, sorry two foot by 150 and four foot by 250 so these big ones are four foot and these are two foot sorry and what I'm, sorry about that. what I'm going to be doing is building the actual frame out of these so one will sit like that. Short ones will sit like that. Obviously that's sitting higher and proud because it's sitting on top of the baseboard. Um, but just so you get the idea, ones will run this way, those will run that way, and again, around. So we'll use two of these and two of those. And then what I'll probably do as well is chuck some support across. Um, or like I said, if, I'm not sure if 12mm will be thick enough to get a screw in, but it should be. If not, then I'll probably use some of that or I'll put some other material I can use to, to cross it. So we've already put four of these across, two on the outside, two in the middle, and then two of the four foot sections there. Um, and yeah, so then they will all sort of bolt uh, together to pull them tight and uh, go from there. So, okay, so this is first but you can see the front it's quite a simple frame it's nothing too extravagant at all 
Um, it's just like I said, four for this way, two for that way. And the benefit to this is, is because these have been left exactly two foot. This is, again, for whatever our junction is done. So I'm not taking any credit for this. This is just replicating his idea. Is it when you lay the board flat, and push it up. This isn't straight yet, but you get a gap here, which is exactly 12 mil. Yeah, once this is lined up, and that's where you can slot a baseboard in. Oh, sorry, a back seam board in there. So, yeah, first one done. Just need to put this top on. And three more to go until I buy more wood. And there is one finished baseboard. And screwed up, and that's the gap down the back. There. Yeah. I was talking about, and that is exactly 12 mil. So I can get another board in vertically. To create like a back scene. Which, uh, yeah, I'm uh, quite pleased with that It's um, quite good. Standing up to walk on it. Without depressing. It's quite strong. And, um, oh, just my mode on or after. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think that will do exactly what I need to do. A few more to make. Um. So I've got one more baseboard to build and I thought I'd sort of do a step by step on this one. So those are two finished ones there and you can see I've drilled holes through. People do this to reduce the weight of the board, mainly for exhibition mats and stuff like that. However, that's not the reason I've done it. Now, as you can see, they're small holes, well big, but in terms of if I wanted to reduce the weight, I'd have done bigger holes. But these are for me to thread cables, buses, power, etc. through. Um, and this is the middle of the boards, which is why it's got uh, holes on both sides. Whereas that one, uh, that's standing up on that beam there, I've left it solid so there's not a hole at the end. Um, so that's those two are done. Uh, and I'll sort of go through this. So start with your four foot, long and 150 mil wide piece of 12 mil ply. And then you've got a two foot, uh, 150, uh, 150, two foot and 12 mil. And then choose which sides you want to be facing the outside and inside, etc. And then line it up. I'm doing this one handed so it's not perfect, but just line it up with the edge so it's flush. Then draw a line. On the other side, and then what I've done is I know it's 150mm or 6 inches. So I know I want three holes, three, uh, three holes, one, two, three. So it's just easy to go halfway, three inches, and then one and a half and four and a half. So I'll have one, two, three. Just mark the middle with a pen, and then drill part of holes. Um, and the same on the other side. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so I've now pushed this flush up with that, put a bit of wood glue, I mean it's not it's not essential but I, I do it just to be safe, just put a bit of wood glue, not too much because obviously it'll squidge out when it squeezes. And then those pilot holes just fed three screws through and you can see, see a bit more glue squidged out. I've got a nice, nice flush line there, it's quite nice. And makes it nice and square and then you literally just do the same on the other side and then it's starting to come together okay and now you can see the other side is on so this now it's sort of a, a half a frame effectively makes it easier to work on the rest of it because you can just put the supports in put them in first don't put the one across on top because uh, otherwise it can be a bit more difficult to get your glue and stuff like that and find exactly where your drill holes are. So I personally put the two support beams in. Once they're in, then put the other one across the top. So with this, if I remember rightly, it was... So I'm doing this one-handed. Right, now you literally just put the, uh, the cross support on. Just one of those, I'll just pick any old piece of wood off. Line it up, mark it, 
drill your pilot holes. Same for that one, and then you'll be left with three there and one there as well, and then the beam goes across the top. Okay, so that's those on there, as you can see. That's yeah, looking pretty good. I've used the nicer looking bits on the outside and the more rough cuts in the middle because uh, they're not going to be seen. Um, so now what you do is you pop this one on there and it's a lot easier to do now because you can line it all up square and just drill, 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 drill and then right the screws in with a bit of glue. Okay, and that is the basic frame done. It is literally very simple. Um, you don't need really expert DIY skills to do this. Um, all you've got to do now, put the baseboard on top, square it off, pull the frame into place, and uh, then screw it down. And there it is, baseboard all screwed on. I've done two in the corner there, one in the middle, one up there, because obviously it's off the edge. One there, one at the bottom there, one there, one there, and the same one again. It's gone a bit blurry, so two on the uh, side there, and then one in the middle, one up there. And then that is quite, quite solid, like I said, happen. Literally put my weight on that quite easily. Once you're strong enough, I've got it in here. So you can see it's relatively light to do this with one hand as well. Lay it down and then drill the holes for the, uh, the wider ends for what I'm going to do. That's why I've left this one out, is butt this up against there because that is the side it's going to be against. And then just trace the hole through to make sure they're in the same position. And then in there, in there, and then that will be left solid. And I'll draw one there uh, to go. Oh no, I just realised this is the wrong way around. It needs to be turned around. Just do it now. <laughs> I realised that the, uh, the gap there for the baseboard is the back. And that's the way it's there. So they get lined up, up, and up, lined up, and then I'll uh, leave that one solid and put a hole through there for the limb to go that way, which will be going that way along the baseboards there. So I'll get on that now. There we have it, one finished baseboard with that other hole drilled there, as I mentioned, wires to go through that way, which is when it's up the right way. It'll be that way, and uh, that is three done with the material I've got. Just got to go buy some material and do the rest. And here are the three finished baseboards in their rough position. Obviously, the, uh, the joints there and there need to be tightened up, which they will do when they're all bolted together and the legs are all level because at the moment it's on a slightly uneven floor, which you can probably see by the caps. Yeah, so it would go like that, and then that's the hole there for the uh, bus to come through, and the hole there for the bus to come through the other side. And you can just about see the pencil marks where the board coming this way will be. And the same that way, along there. So they've got to go up the legs now, and uh, quite wait for the rest of the material to build the rest of the baseboards. But overall, 12 foot from there to there. Really happy with that. It's a uh, each board itself is really level, which is very good, which means there's going to be just very minor adjustments to make to get these um, level and bulk together, which is going to make my life a lot easier. So, yeah, I'll update you when I've done the rest of it.